Hello everyone, my name is Samantha and this is my channel Sweet Simple Life where I like to post haul videos, cooking videos, and other lifestyle vlogs. So I hope you stay and subscribe. Today I have a very, well I shouldn't say a very large, I have a pretty decent sized Walmart haul. Uh, some groceries, some fall decor, some clothes. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip you guys around and show you some of the household staple items I picked up. I'm talking laundry detergent, stuff like that. And then I'll see you guys after that part. Okay, so for some household staple items that we needed to restock on, I got some paper towels and toilet paper. Now these toilet paper, I typically would have bought store brand, but I had a $2 back on Ibotta, which made this a better deal than store brand. And then I got some of these can-do flushable wipes, we do have a toddler that is, you know, newly into potty training, so these are very helpful. And I had, um, I think it was 75 cents back on each one of those four packages, so that's a great deal as well. well and then we have some pull-ups for overnight. Laundry detergent, I decided to switch it up a bit and try the Arm & Hammer. Uh, laundry sanitizer, that is a absolute must if you live, to be honest towels, sheets, kids clothes, um, animal blankets, animal bedding, everything. I highly, highly, highly recommend and I cannot live without that. Uh, some laundry or dish detergent for the dishwasher. I've learned the hard way, name brand's the way to go on that. So this is all the staple items that I picked up just to kind of restock. All right, so the next few items I picked up are these pumpkin spice bagels. These do appear to be accidentally vegan. They smell amazing. Now, I am basic. I do love myself a pumpkin spice latte. However, I'm not like one of those, I have to have creamer and I have to have this and I have to that. But I do occasionally like to have something like this or um, like the swirl bread, although that one's not vegan. Um, I like to dabble, I guess I should say. I'm not pumpkin spice obsessed. Uh, we have a loaf of sourdough. This one's out of their bakery section. And then I got the 647 hamburger buns. I still have, I actually never ate those uh, Bubba Veggie burgers from like two weeks ago. So we'll throw those on the menu for this week. I'm hoping to not have to go grocery shopping for a little while. This trip was quite a lot and I still have quite a lot of pantry stuff. Hey, just popping in here real quick. I missed two items I wanna show you. Uh, the first one is a glow-in-the-dark anemone for our fish tank. We do believe our beta is starting to get a little bored, so we're trying to add some extra stuff to his tank to liven up his day. And then I picked up these, um, da I believe they're daisies. These daisies in this really pretty golden color. As you can tell, I am all ready for fall. All right. Um, out of the, um, these are shelf stable. I've actually purchased these before and I really enjoy these. So I picked up two of the black bean and brown rice bowls. I do find I have to add some extra salt to it, but that is just my personal taste. And they are vegan. They actually say so on the packaging, but I really like these. They're like 280, 260 in the, um, I'm trying to think, I can't remember if it was in the rice. It was in one of the pantry aisles, to be honest. Okay, so we got that. And then I purchased this one before uh, and we really enjoyed it, but I decided to pick it up again. And this is the zesty rice and beans mix. You get 12 servings per container. I think for the three of us, I was able to make three or four meals out of this, which was awesome. And it's only like $4. We'll grab that. Just trying to see what other pantry items I have. Some basic uh, uh, corn tortilla chips. Does anybody else feel less guilty eating like a tortilla chip versus like a potato chip? Because I do, I know it doesn't make a difference, but I don't know, I feel less guilty snacking on those than I do some like Lay's potato chips. All right, these are a relatively new item, I believe. These are by Cup of Noodles. These are stir fry veggies, sweet chili. Um, they are vegetarian. I don't see any ingredients on in the back that would keep it from actually being vegan, but it does actually say vegetarian on the package. I bought one of these randomly for my husband. I think I went into Walmart, grabbed like two items, so it wasn't a haul for it. And he said it was really, really good. It's not a soup. It's literally like a, a noodle with a sauce on it. So I grabbed two of those because he said these were really good. He likes those. 
just good to have on hand convenience take to lunch when you know you're gonna have a busier day that day and you're not gonna be able to like have a real lunch stuff like that's quite nice all right i picked up a pack of mini diet pepsis these are like two dollars and 98 cents in my store and i had an ibotta back for two dollars off so it made this six pack less than a dollar and it worked on diet pepsi regular pepsi so it had to be pepsi specifically not one of their secondary brands so but i picked those up my husband likes the occasional diet pepsi he does prefer pepsi zero but they did not have that in that variety or in those the small cans oh i'm dropping stuff Woo. i'm kind of all over the place today all right we have a three pack of romaine lettuce And this large container of blueberries, they looked really good. So we grabbed those. Just reaching around here, seeing what else I've got. I got stuff all over the place, as you can see. All right, oh, I have to show you these peanuts. So I had these for the first time with, we were out camping, day camping, with some of our friends who are Mexican. And they were like, we swear by these. These are amazing. You find them in the international idol. So you do find them at the true Hispanic stuff. Um, they're a crunchy coated peanut. Now these do contain wheat because these peanuts have a coating on them, but they are so delicious. Like I never would have purchased these on my own. I never would have thought to look there. I never would have ever purchased them. They are so addicting. I highly recommend these. And like I said, you get them in the Hispanic section at Walmart. These are so good. And like they're, for it being, it's like a baked peanut, but they're coated. So everything's just super, super crunchy. I don't even know how to describe it, but you need to try those. Like mind blowing good. It's been a little while since I purchased some Nature Bakery products. Again, Walmart only had these and the bacons and I don't like the baked in, but I do like all of their other bars. Uh, they did not have the fig ones or I would have bought those, but I really enjoy these and the strawberry versions of these are really good. And these are dairy-free, nut-free, vegan, and kosher, if anybody's interested. All right, let's see. Um, I also had an Ibotta on this for half back, so it was like two bucks back, I think. And I found the French Vanilla Almond Granola. It is vegan, non-GMO, and organic. And I've had other series from Cascadian Farms and I like them. So I'm looking forward to trying this because one of my favorite flavors of cereal is the Special K uh, Vanilla Almond. Uh, so this being on a discount made that totally worth it. And if you don't have Ibotta already, I highly, highly recommend you checking it out because, and I'm not affiliated with them by any means, but I've been using Ibotta for like eight years now and I've saved like almost $2,000 just using their like digital coupons which give you cash back after you purchase your item. I just, I can't speak highly enough of them. I've been using them for years and I think everybody should be on board cause we all need to save a couple bucks, right? Huh. All right. Uh, I got a large thing of peanut butter. That's pretty common in our household. A can of vegetarian baked beans. Uh, some hoisin sauce. My sister was telling me how she makes her own simple teriyaki sauce at home. She was better than jarred sauce. And she said it was hoisin, rice wine vinegar, a little bit of sesame oil, and a little bit of soy sauce. So I'm gonna give that a try just to kind of switch up some of our meals. I got a couple avocados. I got four of them. Sorry, I'm just kind of trying to go through this because it's a large haul and I don't want you guys have to sit here for 20 years while I go through some groceries. Um, I picked up two of these dairy-free yogurts. They are the coconut yogurts. I got them in vanilla. Walmart has three flavors, at least in my store. Uh, there was strawberry, there was vanilla, and can't remember the last flavor, but I got two of these. And save these jars. They are a great for got to throw a little handful of herbs to keep next to your sink, propagate plants, um, plant plants in it, put some soil in it. I really like those jars and my daughter likes that yogurt, so it works out. Um, I got a Ben & Jerry's non-dairy. You guys are new here. This is one of my favorite non-dairy ice creams. And I got a 
a few more non-dairies, but I gotta find them. We have two containers of Planet Oat, oat Milk. Again, a staple in our house. I use oat milk and soy milk. Those are the two milks I now exclusively buy. I promised my daughter a little treat. So I picked her up some of these um, So Delicious Vanilla Bean Coconut Milk Ice Cream Sandwiches. And then we have some frozen broccoli, which I really hope I have room in my freezer for all of this. Um, I, we really enjoyed these, the vegan and mozzarella shreds by, from Walmart. Um, I really like those. And it made a pretty decent like creamy mac and cheese. Like if, if you do a skillet mac and cheese where it's just very simple, um, that's really good actually. All right, I picked up a package of root blends. This is beets, carrots, parsnips, and sweet potatoes. I will probably um, roast those in the oven, serve like a salad, um, maybe a grain, something like that, just to switch up our vegetable a little bit. And then I picked up the Gardein plant-based ground beef. Beef. <laughs> um, I have never had this before, but we really like Gardein products. So I'm gonna give this a try, maybe for like tacos or something. Uh, typically when we make tacos, I stick to like beans, rice, potatoes so i'm gonna i just want to switch it up a bit to be honest all right so what else have i got in here we have a cauliflower and broccoli mix here's that other yogurt i have picked up street corn tacos street taco corn tortillas to try to do something different i don't know switch it up a bit we usually do flour tortillas I actually don't mind the white corn ones. I feel like the texture's okay. I feel like yellow corn's a little too dry, maybe. Uh, anyway, so I got these. I'm thinking I might make breakfast tacos one day because I already have some vegan sausages and I'll just like fry up some potatoes, um, regular tacos. I thought it'd be fun to have the minis. This is the other ice cream I picked up and this is a cookies and cream or milk and cookies. And this is with sunflower butter. Um, you, I don't see the sunflower one very often, but I have bought this before and my husband really enjoyed the sunflower variety. So we've grabbed that. Just a refill on our favorite plant butter. And that's the spreadable kind. I do have sticks available already. And then I picked up the Field Roast Classics. You know, to slice up. I think that'd be really good with that beans and rice. Kind of like... It's not spicy. I don't think I've had the classic before, but we really like their chorizo one, the spicy chipotle. That's got some kick. Uh, but I picked that up just to kind of cushion, not cushion, but um, beef up some meals. All right, let's see what else. We have some apples. And I have a bag of potatoes. I just, I like white or yellow potatoes. Uh, typically, I find that Russes, although good, can be extra starchy, and I really like the way these cook up for mashed potatoes, potato salad, frying for breakfast. Um, yeah, so I really like the yellow potatoes. And then in this bag, we just have some simple iceberg lettuce. And some bananas, I really love bananas. And then I got a case of this Top Chico water. So my grandmother buys this when we were in California, we were visiting her, and it was one of the best sparkling waters I've ever had, but it's kind of expensive. So when I saw this at Walmart for six bucks for six bottles, I'm like, all right, I'll pay a dollar a, dollar a bottle for those. Um, but I really like that Top Chico brand. All right, so the last, I think that's, that is it for groceries. I have just a few stuff items to show you. Pardon my reach. All right, so the first thing is this really cute pajama set. I think it's new, I've never seen this before. Um, it is $14.87 and they had multiple prints and colors, but I picked this really pretty um, gray leopard print and the shirt is so, so soft, but here's the best part. So I have issues with pajama pants when they come in sets because I am a very petite person. I need smaller sizes in certain, you know, like, I'm not proportional, like I might need a medium top and a small bottom, you get what I'm going, right? This one, instead of having full length pajama pants, have bike shorts. 
so I don't have to worry about the length being too long or too baggy. So I thought that was awesome. They had camo, they had solid colors. So I thought that was so cool because I could wear the bike shorts like under a dress. Um, I can wear them as pajamas. I can wear them on a lazy day with a big t-shirt. So I thought that was really cool, this pajama set. And then the last two items are fall related. And I got this pack of pumpkins. So you get pumpkins, pine cones, some large maple leaves, uh, gourds, and this was nine pieces for $2.98, which is a good, good deal, because if you go to the Dollar Tree, everything's a dollar a piece. So for three bucks and I get nine pieces, thought that was awesome. And then I, if you watched one of my Dollar Tree hauls, I was mentioning how I uh, was looking for the hard, the bows that come in the two packs. Well, I was in Walmart and I saw this bow and I decided to pick it up instead, instead of hunting for that one. And it is, it was 98 cents. It's called the Harvest Mesh Bow. And you get like, it's almost like deco mesh, but it also looks like burlap at the same time. And then it's got the deco mesh tubing. And I thought that was really cute. My plan is to stick this on my planter for my money tree back there just to kind of follow that up because I'm not moving the tree. So I just want to kind of stick it on the planter itself. But I thought this was cute and it's pretty large. As, as you can see, it's like, it's definitely bigger than my hand. So a nice, decent bow for a dollar. Well, that is all I have to show you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Drop me a comment down below and I would love it if you stayed and subscribed. And if you're a current subscriber, thank you so much being a part of my YouTube journey. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.